Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. And in this video, we're going to learn how can we better track our email statistics across the board in Go High Level. So let's jump into our sub account. Now I'm under marketing and under emails right now, and we have three options here. So we have campaigns where we can see any kind of email campaigns that we have sent out. And then we have templates where you can create folders and create new templates to send out in the future or right away. And then we also have statistics option where you can define a date range and then track conversions or engagement all across the board. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover one specific thing, which is really key. So previously, we were able to track the email campaigns from here, which makes sense. You can click on any email campaign that you have sent out and you can view the statistics. That makes sense. But the cool part is now you can also track any kind of email campaigns or emails that are being sent out in any kind of workflow inside your account. So let's take a brief look at it. So if I select workflow campaigns here, you will see a list of all the workflows that are sending any kind of emails in there. So we can see the statistics from that right away because previously we needed to go into each workflow individually and then see the stats. But here we have a global view of all the emails that are being sent out in any kind of workflow. And this is super, super easy for us to view. And I'll show you how exactly we can do it. So this is a list of all the workflows we have here and even the last updated. So if I click on the three dots against any of these, we have two options. Number one, if you click on edit, it will actually open that workflow in a new window. So if you need to make changes on the go, you don't have to go back and forth between emails and automations. You can do it from here. And then if we go back, the second option we have here is view statistics. So if I click on that, it will actually give me the stats for the emails that are being sent out using this workflow. So once it opens up, we can see the summary in percentages. You can also do numbers if you want. And the type is workflow, of course. Now, you might have a question that if you are sending multiple emails inside of workflow, how do we track those statistics? So that's very easy. Right now it says all workflow emails. So if I scroll down the stats you're seeing right now, is based on all the emails in the workflow. But let's say you wanna see the stats for one specific email because I have two email steps in this workflow. So I'll select the first one. And if I do that, it will give me the stats for that email alone inside of the workflow. And we can double check it because if I open the workflow here, you'll see that I'm sending one email template here and then the other one is here. So they are in two separate conditions. And if you wanna track things separately, you can choose that from the drop down here. But if you wanna combine the stats, if you wanna do all workflow emails, you will see that it will accumulate the both. And if you have more emails, of course, then it will basically accumulate all of them together. So you can see how easy it is. And you can also do custom date ranges here. So if you wanna change the date range and see the stats for different or custom dates, you can easily do that here, click on confirm. And in a few seconds, it will give you the stats for those specific dates. So that's how easy it is now that you can track the email stats across workflows and you can also individualize them if you need to. And this will give you a super good view of how your emails are performing across the board. That was about this video. This is Sama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.